identified a number of key issues related to the 2019 process. To start, I'll discuss the Nigerian-led initiatives that contributed positively to the process. In preparation for the 2019 polls, Nigerians sought to increase citizen participation, particularly that of marginalized populations, to enhance confidence in the elections and minimize the risk of electoral violence. The Not Too Young to Run campaign, led by a coalition of civil society organizations, resulted in the constitutional amendment that lowered the minimum age limit for elected officials at the national, state, and local levels. The percentage of youth candidates subsequently increased from 21% in 2015 to over 34% in 2019. Oh, the number of women candidates also increased, and six women ran for president. The Access Nigeria campaign also resulted in the use of the Braille ballot guide, which supported visually impaired Nigerians to vote on election day. Several citizen organizations and networks monitored very various aspects of the electoral process, demonstrating a significant commitment to strengthening democratic institutions and processes in Nigeria. With regards to election administration, ahead of the 2019 polls, INEC instituted several reforms, including simultane simultaneous accreditation and voting, the posting of results at polling units, improved voter verification technologies, a more robust review of dis and disciplinary process for INEC staff, and enhancement of ballot secrecy and measures to reduce vote buying. Complete the constituency delineation exercise and identify necessary polling units at least one year before the next elections. Make the continuous voter registration process more accessible to voters. Develop and adopt a strong strategic communications plan. Reconsider the order and timing of general elections. Create a process that facilitates suffrage for those on official duty on election day. Adopt more transparent procedures for the tabulation, transmission, and announcement of election results. On political party conduct, urgently commit to and complement measures to strengthen mechanisms for political party internal democracy. Develop and, and campaign on issue-based platforms that reflect citizen priorities and build the capacity of political parties to monitor elections. Civic engagement. Improve coordination among stakeholders to increase and deepen voter and civic education. Continue efforts to enhance the participation of marginalized groups, including women, youth, people with disabilities, and internally displaced persons, IDPs. On election security, continue to improve coordination between security agencies and INEC on the provision of electoral security and enforce electoral laws by investigating and prosecuting perpetrators of election-related criminal acts. Uh, in some of our political parties, uh, when the person who emerges uh, in the primaries is not in favor uh, with the political godfather, then at times it's like all have, uh, hell is let loose in the party. Uh, and there's a lot of disruption of the system. Um, what to do about this? I'd like, first of all, to agree with what my colleague just said, that the level of desperation to get into political office itself is something that has to be addressed. The fact is that the stakes are just too high. The, the um, perquisites of electoral office in Nigeria are stupendous. So people are willing to kill and to die uh, for, in, in order to get into those positions. And this is an issue that we must address as a nation.